Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday the 20th. I'm James Spann. Nice, cool, and calm here while major, major winter storm unfolds for the nation's midsection. We'll have some rain before the week is over. And a lot of things happening here, a lot to talk about. So let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early this morning at about 5 o'clock. That's the uh, downtown Birmingham Skycam. Let's look at downtown Clanton. And by the way, we will be there tomorrow night for the weather tour, Storm Alert 2013. Encourage you to come by and see us. We'll be at Jeff State at the Performing Arts Center. The show begins at 6.30. Doors open at 5. Doesn't cost a dime. Uh, a lot of things we've learned after April 27th of last year will share. Some very good information. If you need help with weather radios, uh, just want to come by and see us, come on by. We'll see you tomorrow night. And there's a look at the sky cam from downtown Jasper. Things are nice, quiet, and calm and cold this morning. Very active pattern across the nation. An upper low is over eastern Canada. Another big one is over California. And uh, that, that system out west is going to produce a lot of issues for the mountains in the southwest United States and ultimately the middle of the nation with snow. Pretty cold this morning around here. As cold as 25 in Fort Payne. Uh, most locations are below the freezing mark, and it is really cold up north. I think those folks will be glad when spring gets here. It's been a cold winter. Uh, some spots up there below, uh, colder than 15 below zero. And man, that is a messy map. The watch warning map this morning. Winter storm warnings up. All of Kansas, basically all of Missouri except the southeastern corner, most of Nebraska, an ice storm warning down into parts of northern Arkansas. And a whole slew of issues out in the southwest United States, the mountains with heavy snow out there. In the warm sector, a risk of severe weather today over parts of north Texas up into extreme south Oklahoma. Now, that is from uh, Dallas-Fort Worth back toward Midland-Odessa. Tomorrow, a risk of severe weather over all of Louisiana, pretty good chunk of Mississippi, and some of the adjacent states. No part of Alabama is in a risk, and we think that's the right call. We don't expect any severe weather here. Within that, there is an enhancement over a pretty good chunk of Louisiana in the southwest corner of Mississippi. And then on day three, which is Thursday, no formal risk, although we have the low end 5% severe weather possibilities over the southern half of Alabama. And of course, we'll dive into all this here in a moment in detail. Rain for the next seven days. How about some drought busting rain for the southeast? This is great placement for a part of the nation that really needs it. Heaviest rain axis from South Alabama up through Georgia and South Carolina. Uh, the bullseye, 7.5 inches down around Geneva and Andalusia. And the amount should be lighter over the northern part of the state. Uh, for, for this part of Alabama, about 2 to 3 inches. And the amounts are lighter up around the shoals. And I think that's a pretty good call. Let's take a look at modeling here. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today. Upper low over the northeast. Upper low over the southwest. We're kind of in between all that, so uh, we think the day will be dry, although clouds will increase today, and the high should be around 50. Areas north of Birmingham will probably uh, not get out of the 40s. Tomorrow, the southwest uh, feature lifts out really in two pieces. Uh, one is over Oklahoma and Kansas. you got a chunk of it hanging back over California. And down below that, there's your big-time snow for Kansas and Nebraska and Missouri. What a classic setup there with a 998 millibar low over the Texas panhandle. Storms break out in the warm sector over East Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana. Uh, but during the day tomorrow, we stay dry. We warm up a little bit. The sky should be mostly cloudy. The high should be in the low 60s. This is tomorrow night at midnight. The surface low is near Kansas City. And uh, rain and some thunder likely here. And we should note it will be windy tomorrow evening, much like it was Monday. Uh, with pressure gradient winds. And let's look at the instability. And again, we don't see any negative lifted index here. Where you see the green, that's where the air is unstable. Uh, Friday, Thursday night at midnight, tomorrow night. Uh, the air is unstable over Louisiana, South Mississippi, and near Mobile, but not here. So again, severe weather should not be an issue. And we'll go to midday Friday. The uh, rain should be tapering off by then, pushing down into South Alabama. We note a wave develops on the front on the Louisiana coast. But again, there's a good chance the rain will diminish Friday morning 
And we'll be pretty warm if this is right. Uh, we could reach 70 on Friday afternoon. But watch what happens. Friday night, that wave moves up to near Montgomery. And from Birmingham south, it should be wet. So there could be a break in the rain during the day Friday. Then rain increases again Friday night, especially from Interstate 59 south. Uh, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden south. Uh, that could be very wet. The Tennessee Valley could stay dry Friday night, if you know, or Coleman and points north. All right, this is Saturday as you start the weekend. We're dry. Uh, a pretty decent chance that uh, we're not going to have any uh, rain to deal with, and that's, uh, that's a good thing. Uh, temperatures on Saturday would be pretty comfortable, although cold air is not that far away. Uh, the GFS is printing a high of 63 with the colder air just north of us. So for now, we're thinking for most of this part of Alabama, Saturday should be a dry day. Sunday looks dry. Should be mild, highs in the 60s. Uh, so, you know, for your weekend plans, I think we'll be okay both Saturday and Sunday. But Monday, here comes that next piece lifting out of there, big upper low that's near Omaha. And the GFS has finally gotten on the bandwagon here. You know, it showed that front coming through in dry fashion, and the odds of that happening are just tiny. And now it's got a batch of rain and storms in here on Monday, even a secondary load down around Mobile. This is the instability at midday Monday, and look at that now. Mobile has very unstable air. Uh, so there could be some strong to severe storms on Monday with this setup over the far southern part of Alabama, if this is right. And I think the guys at SPC might have to look at introducing a severe weather risk. But again, up here, there's just not any instability. But this is, you know, Wednesday, and we're looking at an event that's Monday, and that could change, just something to keep an eye on. So we'll mention a good chance of showers and storms on Monday. And then Tuesday, we're dry, nothing really cold. The high should be around 60. And uh, this is Wednesday of next week, dry, pleasant. High close to 60. So that looks uh, looks pretty good. All right, let's go out there and dive into March. Do we dare? Uh-oh. Come on now. This is March the uh, 4th. That shows a snowstorm for North Alabama. Can it snow in March here? You know it can. Come on, our biggest snow ever happened in Mar mid-March. Uh, and the, the consistency has actually been pretty good in something happening in early March. Of course, we don't know the specifics, but... With the north, NAOs going negative and turns colder, active stream, just look out now. On the 6th, that thing is gone, and uh, look at the big snow in the northeast, if this is right, and then it just turns cold here. And on the 8th of March, uh, temperatures begin to moderate. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Uh, due to the uh, travel schedule, we'll be in Gadsden this evening, programming weather radios at Academy Sports from 3.30 until 6.30. So out of town, we'll just do one video today, one video tomorrow because of the weather tour in Clanton, back to the two-a-day schedule Friday. But if you can, come out and see us in Gadsden this evening or Clanton tomorrow or watch us on ABC 3340 News tonight at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream or the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. 